here we are provided with an orthographic view of an object. The lower, lower figure represents top view of the object, upper figure represents the front view of the object. If we look into the top view of the object, we can easily deduce that it has length of 68 mm and breadth of 32 mm. Similarly, if we look into the front view, we can deduce it has height of 28 mm. Now, by using all the information providing you, provided over here, we are going to draw an isometric view of this object. Let's start over. First of all, I'll draw a line parallel to the base. This will be my reference line. From this line, I will draw an axis which will represent the length of the object that is 68 mm inclined at an angle of 30 degree with the base. Similarly, I will draw another line from the same point equal to the breadth of the object that is 32 mm inclined at an angle of 30 degree with the base. Now, I will draw the third line which will represent the vertical axis equal to the height of the object that is 28 mm perpendicular to the base. Now, I will fix one hand of the drafter along this line, parallel to this line from the base, I will move along this line up to the extreme end and draw a line. Similarly, I will fix one hand of the drafter parallel to this line, move along this line up to the extreme end and draw another line. Again, from this all four corners, I am going to draw the vertical axis equal to the height of the object. Now, I will complete this object by joining all the four edges. As I join all the four edges, I get a box. The orthographic view of the given figure represents object which will be inside this box. Now, for the ease of understanding, I will delete these lines so that we can see that this is the isometric view of the box inside which the object represented by this orthographic figure will be included. Now, let's look into this figure. From this extreme end, we move front by 22 mm and come inside by certain length. What is that length? Here we are given 15 mm. The total breadth of the object is 32 mm. If we subtract 15 mm from 32 mm, we end up having 17 mm. This object is symmetric along this line. 70 mm can be divided into two equal parts that is 8.5 mm, 8.5 mm. That means from this edge we will come inside by, we will come in front by 22 mm and go inside by 8.5 mm. And again we will move up to the extreme end. Let's do this at first. From this edge we will come inside by 22 mm and again set our drafter parallel to this line and come inside by 8.5 mm. That is, from this point we will come inside along this line by 22 mm and come inside 8.5 mm parallel to breadth. Similarly, we will repeat the same process for this side. Come along this line by 22 mm. Go inside by 8.5 Now come all the way up to the extreme end. Sorry. From this point, I will come all the way up to the extreme end. I'll join this line all the way up to base. Again, I'll repeat the same process for this line. From this point, I'll come in front 
parallel to the length of the object and from this point I will go down up to the base perpendicular now from this point I will draw a vertical line similarly from this top I will draw a vertical line up to the bottom now I will set rafter parallel to this line and from this point I will draw a line inside so that this line will cut another vertical line at some point now I will trim this part this part this part now from this point I will draw a line up to this point I will trim this part of I am trimming this part of just for sake of your understanding so that our drawing does not become ambiguous now let's go into the figure again if you look from the front we have to go upwards by 12 mm and go inside by 22 mm and go all the way up to the top let's do this from front we will go upwards by 12 mm and go along the length parallel to the length at an angle of 30 degree by 22 mm and move all the way up to the top particularly and trim the extra unnecessary part of let's repeat this process from this point I will go upwards by 12 mm move along the length by 20 mm and move vertically upwards let's trim this part and join this part over here again let's join this point up to this point now let's trim these parts here for sake of understanding I have trimmed this part but while you will be drawing this figure in your sheet of paper you will not trim this part off however you will draw this part with the help of 2B pencil that means as, we, as you end up drawing this figure you will have lots of construction lines and supporting lines you will not delete or erase those lines rather draw those all lines with the help of 2S pencil as you end up making the isometric view the visible isometric view will be drawn by using 2B pencil that is the supporting line will be drawn by using 2S pencil now the visible isometric view will be further darkened by using 2B pencil and dimensioning is done by using SB pencil let's darken this all the visible part of the isometric view That's it. Now we have got an isometric view of the figure from the orthographic view provided to us. Thank you.